Have you always wanted to level up your videos by creating an effect like this? Where the information comes on the screen next to you and you can still speak and you move across in a nice smooth way. And then when it's finished, it moves back just like this. Well, if that's the case, then stick around because I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in DaVinci Resolve 18. Okay, so here we are on DaVinci Resolve. Now, I should preface this by saying that I'm not a DaVinci Resolve expert. I just um, was trying to look for a way to be able to do this myself. Realize there's not many tutorials on the internet or any, if anything, of the way I wanted to do it. So I thought I'd make a quick tutorial for you on how to do it in case it's something you wanted to do. So uh, I am new to DaVinci Resolve, so you'll have to bear with me uh, as we're going through this. So basically, uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to have information come up on the screen at the side, but uh, the only things I could find I found a great tutorial on uh, one of the YouTube channels and I will link it in the comments below and he actually made a fusion thing so that you can put two videos on it and it will automatically bring it to the middle and then bring it away and it's really really super simple so if you're just looking for it literally to split then you're fine but in my case I wanted to have like a little angle way to give it a better thing and I also want to react control it more so therefore I'm going to show you exactly how I came up with doing it now basically the first thing you need to do is to put your clips in the timeline obviously and also your or, um, your whatever your overlay is going to be. So in my case, I'm just going to use a piece of red just so you can see. So uh, you need to cut where you want it to be. So in this case, uh, this is where we're going to go from. So therefore, if I was just to play that, you would see that it's all red and you can't see anything at the moment. Uh, so what we do is we go to the top clip up here and we're going to use the cropping feature and we're basically just going to crop left. Uh, until we get to roughly roundabout in the middle and then um, because of the fact that I want to angle it if I was to angle it a little bit like that you see that it kind of uh, it kind of goes funny doesn't it like you can see it's angled so therefore all I do is I then just zoom in just a little bit so that that way when that angle goes look so you can see if I move it along like that you see that it, it would essentially come in and it would stay like that for the entire time and then it would go back out again Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to add a push transition uh, to this. So you've got the video transition here. If you just type in push in the box up here, you can take push and you can basically add it to uh, your video or your, your screen essentially. So now if you click on this, you'll see it actually uh, pushes. Uh, the thing now obviously the video is not doing anything, but it's pushing but it actually pushes from the wrong side Now we don't want that to be the case So what we do is we highlight it over here like this and we actually change that to push right So now if I go back on itself here look, you can see that is essentially what's going to happen as you push It's going to go to there So now you've got that bit sorted But you need to get the video to now move across as well in the same time as the other thing And that way it makes it look like it's being pushed across information then pushed back again Which is the effect that I wanted to get so uh, the best way to do this um, I found is you now you could probably use the push again I'm not sure how because I haven't I haven't experimented with that because in the end I started using keyframes instead which incidentally you can do the push with keyframes as well so if you've got an, uh, an earlier version of resolve because your computer's not very fast and you need to use that then uh, and you don't have the push option then you can use that as well but using keyframes and just basically do exactly the same as what I'm going to do here but slightly reverse it if that makes sense so uh, anyway so the first thing you need to do is you need to put in a keyframe now now, this is the position button here. If you click on that little diamond, you get a keyframe. Now, it's quite hard to see uh, because there's nothing there to see. So what you need to do is you need to click just here in this little diamond and then you'll see now, you'll see your keyframe at the bottom, okay? So there it is just there. Uh, I think we've got, uh, yep, there we go. So there he is. So there's the keyframe. If I highlight in red, you can see that is my keyframe. Now what I want to do is I want to go all the way along and I want to check where that stops. Okay, so that's now stopped there. So what I'll do is I'll do another keyframe just here. So I've now got one keyframe there and one keyframe there. Now before I move this one, what I want to do is I want to change the position of the video so that therefore it's in the place that I want it to end up in. Okay, so now I've got a keyframe here, which is the start, and I've got a keyframe here, which is the end. Now, don't worry about the position of those too much, because we're going to change that in a moment. But basically, look, if you look, what happens is as we go along, when the push happens, um, now, incidentally, if you want to know how I'm doing this slowly, I'm just using my arrow key, my left arrow key, or my or right arrow key, depending on which way you look at it, I guess. Yeah, the right arrow key, uh, to go through frame by frame. So as you can see, I've already started moving. And therefore, this thing comes in. Now, I don't really want that to be the case because I don't want to start moving before you see that thing. So what I'm simply going to do is drag this first keyframe until I get to a point where I see 
that thing come in. Now, in my case, the top doesn't affect my moving, but the bottom does. So therefore, I put the bottom there, and I will drag that to that position. So now, when it goes, look, you'll see it will start pushing me across. But you'll see it almost goes faster than what I can go. And incidentally, if you want to change the, the rate that it goes as well, um, up the top here on your on your, your top one, uh, on your red one, the push, you can change the speed and all that kind of thing, how many seconds it is, how many frames and all that kind of stuff. You can change that as well. So, Or, as I said, you can do it by using uh, this bottom thing here uh, and doing, like, if you want to do that for the top rather than doing the push. But I just found the push is a bit easier to do. So, anyway, so I digress. So, here we go. So, therefore, as we get to there, look, you'll see what happens. It comes in and it starts moving me over but it moves faster than what I can move um, and the reason that is is because my, my my final frame is way out there so what I found is all I have to do is I have to come along like this and I basically have to as soon as that stops that is when I want to be in that position so then all I do is I take that final frame and I move it into the position just there so now if you look what will happen is as we go we start off the red is gonna come in any second now and as it comes in, it starts pushing me across. And then it will finally end up in that position. And then carry on speaking, basically. So therefore, in real time, let's have a look what it looks like. I'm talking, it does its thing like that. Now, all you have to do is simply reverse it at the other end. So uh, in this case, what we'll do is we'll go, we'll go across to here. We've got to make that a little bit bigger because uh, we just lost it there. Um, hold on, where is it? Let's find that. So simply make it bigger. Uh, da, da, da. Don't make it too big because otherwise we're going to be here all day. But basically, let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. That was that. And then you do the same thing. You take the push and you put the push at this end, basically. So instead of the push being, uh, how do we put this on? Uh, there we go. Like that. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to, to fiddle around with these things. It takes a little bit of fiddling back and forth. And incidentally, sometimes you find that your, your timeline doesn't seem to allow things in. Uh, and that sometimes I found that if this bit here is greyed out, um, then it won't let you do anything. So just bear that in mind when you, uh, if you, if it suddenly there's like a little red circle saying you can't add anything, you might have clicked one of these ones, the V1 or the V2 or the A1 or whatever, and it just won't let you add anything into it. So just bear that in mind. Uh, but anyway, so I digress. So therefore, so now, uh, obviously we're getting to the end of it. We want it to move off. So there you see. So now it's moving off, and then we're back into our next thing. So what will happen at this point is I have to cut the video just here. Because what that's now done, basically, is that has made this entire video in this, like this. And I don't want that to be the case. So therefore, all I do is I come up here and I will put zero in there and make that back into position. So now what happens is as we go along, look, you see that goes away, that stays there, and then it jumps. But we don't want it to jump because of the fact that obviously it'll look a bit terrible. So therefore, we just have to do exactly the same thing again. But in this case, we're doing the opposite way around. So what we do is we do a keyframe. So in this case, we're in that position. So already, so we just have to hit keyframe and then we're done on that one, which is good. And then we both move it all the way along like this and then we get to about there just after it's gone whatever it is there then we just do another keyframe and this time we're going to put in zero so we go back to zero uh, the position which hopefully should work uh, what's happened here oh I've, do oh I've done it in that one that's the wrong one it's that one uh, I think I might have put a keyframe in that thing I'm not sure let me check uh, let's have a look oh I didn't put any keyframes in right okay <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, I'm new to DaVinci Resolve. Right, okay. So therefore, we do a... Make sure you've got the right one highlighted. There's a good uh, good thing there. So make sure the right one is highlighted. So there it is there. We put a keyframe there as an example. And then we move all the way along like this until it's disappeared. And then we will put another keyframe here. And then we will hit zero like this and then it's back to the middle so now once again we have the same situation but this time it's going back on itself so therefore that's moving and then that's moving but again we don't want it to do that because of the fact that that looks silly so therefore we have to just move it into position so therefore in my opinion when it gets to about uh, there is probably when I would want it to be finished and want it to be back in its place. So I just move that keyframe to there and then I just drag this keyframe away and when it gets to literally just before it's about to go, I will move one back and then I will bring this keyframe, which is the first one, to there. So now when we play that in real time, you'll see it moves back 
exactly the same. So now if we play the whole thing, then you'll see that we get an in and an out. So there's the in, talky, 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 talky. And then when it's finished towards the end, then it will simply go back and we're done. So there you go. So that is a way that you can do that with DaVinci Resolve. I hope that was as clear as mud. Um, as I said, it's not going to turn into a DaVinci Resolve channel, but this was just a little tutorial for those people who are having issues with that, and uh, hopefully it solves your problem. I'll leave some uh, details in the um, uh, description below for anybody that wants to check out some of the other channels that I was looking at for other tutorials and inspiration that I got to make this one here. So uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye for now.